I love you, Smitty. Oh, hi, guys. Welcome to my uh, setup tour. I don't know which number setup tour this is. I've done fucking shit loads of setup tours, but this is a new house that I've not done a setup tour on yet. So I'm going to do a setup tour on this one in this house, and I'll probably be moving house at the end of the year. So you'll see another setup tour in January. But don't we love a setup tour on this channel? I, I hate myself. myself. So the first thing you come in to see is obviously three monitors, a beautiful PC, and the kit collection, and then the console. I'll go through the setup first, then the consoles, and then I'll go through the kit collection, because most people who have probably clicked on this is for the gaming setup. So we go through that bad boy first, and then, because that's part of the gaming setup, we go through that part second, and then I just want to stick the kits at the end if anyone's interested. But coming in, you see these beautiful kits. These ones don't fit me very well. So I put them on display. If you can't tell, I accidentally bought some kid shirts. That is mad, but I saw extra large and just shot the gun. And if you don't know who Lord Benter is, you are too young for my channel. You need to leave. Lord Benter is Lord Benter. You don't have to, but like you, you should know who Lord Benter is. Anyway, let's get to the gaming setup first. This beautiful gaming setup with a giant two and a half meter long uh, kitchen top table for Ikea. Because I kept getting the these top shit things, the Linmons, these. I kept having these, but I kept pu punching holes in them. Whereas a kitchen top, <laughs> see, no hole, it's perfect. Kitchen top can resist my fist. There's always a microfiber towel on, on, on the table. It's not for whacking off. I promise it's not for whacking off. It's for cleaning my glasses, okay? Because microfiber is the only thing that gets these things fucking clean. It's not for whacking off, okay? We obviously have to start off with a PS5, Xbox Series S in a hidden location. The PS5 is too big to stick in a hidden location. So it's just behind them on. First of all, PC, banging PC, white build with some light rainbow color. Usually I have it white static, but it's decided to switch by itself today. I have a 3070 Ti with a Ryzen 7 5800X. So 32 gigabyte of 3000 600 megahertz RAM for you PC nerds. There's some the six Corsair fans in a Leon Lee case. We ignore that. Um, um I, I did not have the money for new fans, and I still don't have the money for new fans, so I'm just reusing Corsair ones from my old case. And a Leon Lee cooler. Although I'm realizing at the time I probably should have just saved up the extra like 30, 40 quid and just get a triple fan cooler because it seems a bit awkward now. Just having two and an empty space. I didn't think that bit part. There's also like two hard drives in there and two M.2 SSDs if anyone cares about storage. I don't think anyone cares about storage. I told the, the important parts of it. And then we've got three beautiful MSI monitors. 27 inch, 144 hertz on the right, 144 hertz on the left, 165 hertz on the middle. Cause that's the main curved gaming monster. Monster? monster? Yeah, it is a monster. You know, sometimes you gotta get some motivation to pump it through the veins. Believe in yourself. I must keep going. Your next win is just round the corner. Don't take that for gambling. We don't we don't do that here. Cause I well, let's let's move on. I have a 60% keyboard that was gifted to me by an old friend. It's very nice. I got some cool Japanese keycaps. It's an RK keyboard. The RK61 mechanical keyboard. For you keyboard nerds. I don't know if you can pick up the clicking there. <laughs> Logitech mouse wireless G305. It's very light. This beautiful rope pack cluster, I've had for ages. I've had this for 10 years and it's never let me down. I love you. Mwah. You've never let me down. Beautiful. I'll get a ring light. I'll get a face cap. You're standard. I, I don't really use it much. We've got an audio interface down here. It's just bog standard for some DT990 Pros. I need a new pair. Um, that's why I need a new pair. It doesn't stay locked in. It's fucked. Let's get into cable management. Why is that falling off? Who, who decided that? Get, get, get your ass back up there. That is a HDMI switcher. Ow, I've hit my head on the desk already. So you switch between the Xbox and the PS5, obviously. And then you've got the Elgato stuck to the underneath. And then all the cables stuck to the underside of the desk so you can't see them. Nice, nice cable management. Nice cable management. Nice and clear, nice and hidden away. Last parts of the gaming setup, obviously a secret labs chair. And then you've got the VR headset hidden around the right here out of sunlight because sunlight apparently damages them. we move on to the consoles the absolutely beautiful console that i play occasionally I, i'll be honest i should play them more but it's, it's very nice very nice start off with the playstation got playstation 1 playstation 2 playstation 3 and the playstation 4 all plugged in all with hdmi switches so i can switch between all of them the only one that i can't switch between the ps1 and the ps2 have an adapter to get it to hdmi 60 fps and the right aspect ratio 16 by 9. So if I want to use a PS1, I've got to take the video connectors out of the PS2, 
put it into the PS1 to play that way. Those are the only two that aren't set up properly because the HDMI switches can only take three and only have one adapter. Then you've got the Xbox One, the original Xbox, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One S. The previous one, although the Xbox One S and the Series S are hardly different, so I've barely used that thing. This, this gets barely used. So does a PS4 now because of the PS5. The, I think the main one I play is the beautiful nostalgic Wii. Who does not love a Wii? Wii is beautiful. Wii is life. We bowling, we baseball, I am the GOAT. Other than that, I mainly use the PS3 because I've got all the original Call of Duties that I like playing the campaigns through occasionally. Absolutely love it. I've got all the Wii games, got all the Xbox games. Halo Reach is the best thing I ever played. Custom games, if you know like the, the fat kid games, the get out my house games, trash compactor, it was beautiful. If you played those Halo Reach games, let me know because the Halo Reach was great. Let me know what your favorite custom game was for Halo Reach in the comments below because Halo Reach was goaded for custom games. You've got the Switch as well, which I don't, I don't use much. I've got Mario Kart on it, but n n none, none of my friends play it. So you, and I can't do no Mario Kart videos, unfortunately. And we can move on to Schmitty. And I, I wasn't making out with him, I promise. I did not make out with that man. I did not have sexual relations with that man. Uh, maybe I did. We got my Deadpool corner as well. I love this little Deadpool corner. It's very nice. We like it. We love Deadpool. Now I'll let you know now that I'm going to move on to the kits now. So for all you gamer folk who aren't interested in my kits at all, click away now. I, I'll give you the warning. This is the kits now. So this might be boring for some of you, but I want to do it for me because it's my channel and, and I like my kits and I want to show off my collection because it's damn expensive. We'll go from right to left. We've got the El Clasico Rolling Stones special FC Barcelona shirt. We've got my name, Menace 7 on the Arsenal shirt. I can't remember. I think that's the 21-22. Don't quote me on that. I've got so many Arsenal kits at this point. I don't know what's it, what's what. I'm pretty sure that's the 21-22. Then we've got Ramsey, the 14-15 third, I'm pretty sure. No, 15-16 third. Yeah, that's the 15-16 third that is not my size. So it's up there. Aaron Ramsey is one of my favorite Arsenal players of all time. He's the Welsh GOAT. I've then got, no, that's the 17-18 home kit that I can't fit. I'm pretty sure. I'm not, these ones I'm not too sure. I've gone out my way to get those in order, but I'm not too sure of these ones. I know this is the 18-19 home kit because Aaron Ramsey the goat. We've got Patrick Vieira 2003 2004 home kit. I've got three of these. We've got England World Cup. We've got apparently this was a limited edition one. These are mostly mystery boxes this top. You got Hamburg CSV uh, like limited edition. I think it was a LGBT Q plus one. Then we've got Birschkot. Birschkot. We like Birschkot. Then we've got an Inter Miami shirt. We love Inter Miami, especially since Messi joined. That one's player authentic, I think. Yeah, authentic it's thingy. We've got Al, Al, Al Ali, Egyptian. We've got, I can't remember this one at all. I, I can't remember this one. I never can. <laughs> We've got PSG join kit, third kit. This was expensive. This one's very nice though. I love this one. We've got the Real Madrid third kit from, I think last season. Then we've got this Mexican kit that's literally just got sponsors galore all over it. Then we've got another Inter Miami kit. Then we've got, uh, uh, this one I'm putting a replica. I'm pretty sure I got this. This is a replica I was given with Schneider on the back because Schneider, the number 10, is the GOAT. And then I've got a quite worn but very nice uh, Dembele Dortmund shirt that I would been, uh, I got managed to get rid of the stains on. I got this for like 20 quid with DFB Pokal Dembele. It's quite faded, but for 15, 20 quid and just a couple of pink stains, there was a lot more pink stains when I got rid of him. I'm quite impressed with it and I'm quite happy with it. I've got a couple more Dortmund shirts on order as well of like Haaland and stuff. And Marco Royce, because if you get Dortmund shots, you've got to get Marco Royce. A Champions League this season with Odegaard on the back. And then I've got this season's third kit, Prem, with Martinelli. And then I've got the goalkeeper kit with Raya on the back. And I've got this season's training kit, last season's home, away, third, uh, pre-match. And I did have the training kit as well, but it's in the wash at the moment. And then I've got the only shirt from the 22-23 season I've got at the moment is the training kit. But I've got the black and gold kit on the way, 22 Odegaard. I've got the away that's not got a name on. And then the previous season, I've got Saka. And then I've got Martinelli from 1920. Then I've got Xhaka. Then I've got Lacazette. And then this is a training kit. Then I've got Xhaka again. Then I've got a training kit. And then I've got Alexis Sanchez. This one, uh, it took forever to get an Alexis Sanchez, so I'll be honest. And I've got Ramsey, Theo Walcott, Santi Cozzola, a Petr Cech goalkeeper shirt, home kit, 14-15, 14-15, I think this is the away or is it the third? I can't remember. It's got Welbeck on though. Got to get Welbeck. Then you've got your boy Arteta, Riziki, Matasaka, Thierry Henry. And this one's my fucking favorite Arsenal kit by far. This white one is amazing. With Fabregas on the back, I think this one looks beautiful. And then we've got another Thierry Henry, another Thierry Henry, 
and the Labaya camp. And then this is the first Arsenal kit I was given, which I'm pretty sure is just a replica. Of, it's literally just like a red and white tops with uh, with the Arsenal badge stuck on that my uncle gave me at one point. And I, I don't know if it's legit. I don't know what it is. I can't find anywhere online. So I'm pretty sure it's like some replica or something. But the emotional value held to that, obviously being my first Arsenal shirt, will always be kept in the collection. The sad thing is I've got more on order and everything. I'm almost running out of hangers. I've got that many Arsenal kits right now. And <laughs> the fact that there's more is kind of sad. I can't help myself. I'm getting a collection. I'm quite happy with it though. But yeah, that was my setup video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was not a jacking off towel. Get that one. Shut up with that. It's not for my glasses. Look, it's for my glasses. If it was a jacking off rag, I wouldn't use it to clean my glasses. Okay? I hope you enjoyed that. I rambled on about my desk for five minutes. Then I rambled on about the console collection for about five minutes. And then I rambled on about the kick collection for six. There's segments. People, I'll, I'll probably put chapters in so people can see their own, what the sections they want to see. But that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my setup. I'll see you in January for another setup tour. I I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.